Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have finally finished my blue journal that I've been working on for quite uh, quite a while. And today I'm finally going to film the flip through. I know some of you have been waiting for it, so here it is. Alright, uh, for those of you who do not know this journal, um, it's a blue themed journal. Blue is my favorite color. And I was also inspired, I was inspired by two things. The first one was um, this fabric. It's upholstery fabric um, that I found in a scrap bin at Joanne's. Oops, it's fraying a little bit. And I just loved the pattern, the colors, and the feel of it, the texture. And the second inspiration was, which worked perfectly with this, was um, the two blue themed junk journal kits from Line.Arrow because this um, was also a design team project that I did for Line.Arrow and I will uh, link Natalie's channel and her Etsy shop in the description below in case you're interested for uh, to get the same junk journal kit. Okay, so um, it is uh, nine by six inches the cover and I added a metal book plate on it with a little journal tag you can obviously take this out and put your own own um, tag or yeah tag in there or label whatever it's called and then I used some silk ribbon as the closure and I put a little key on there that has the same same little tone as the book plate and then on the front uh, we have this um, frayed edge that I left on it because it, um, I guess it was the end of the fabric but the other sides don't have it but I really liked it so I decided to leave it on there all right uh, the whole journal has 90 f let's see 94 pages <clears throat> no 92 pages and as you can see it's a little chunky and um, this has a lot of writing pages. I know there's a lot of uh, junk journals out there that are just like book pages, <clears throat> sheet music pages, and then magazine pages and all kinds of like scrapbook paper where you can't really write on the pap paper or the pages. But for this one, I left a lot of pages um, blank so you can actually write a lot in it because there's people out there that like writing a lot. So here we go. So when you first open this, we have this flap on here. And it has a lovely pocket with flowers and a doily. And I just uh, put in this lovely uh, forget-me-not uh, uh, journaling card. Excuse me, <coughs> my brain. <laughs> and <coughs> when you flip this over, we have this um, nice image from a old kid's book. And then uh, I put this little pocket on here with this tag that I made some cards and if it's right in here and you can still see see part of it and I just put a paper flower on here then um, the spine I covered with some uh, lace ribbon and then you have some blue dyed paper I did this with food coloring and then I also put a little half circle tab on here um, just to add some more texture and interest. Then we have a magazine page with a double pocket that goes over the page and you can flip this open and write in here and same on this side. And then in here I have this, um, oops, this way, little journaling uh, notepad with different old papers and some old letter paper and I just um, embellish it with papers from the uh, line dot arrow kit that I got and then on here we just have a paper that you can draw on and I did some sense stenciling on it on the back and it just goes right in here okay got some old graph paper and most paper or papers that I use in here like I have old ledger papers graph papers uh, and some other pa papers they're like from the 50s so they're pretty vintage and then this is a uh, digital paper from line.arrow 
so is this. Here's a um, version, I think it's from the 80s, from Pride and Prejudice in large print. And then on this side, I cut out uh, flowers from a scrapbook paper and I put a big journaling tag in it. And it just sits right behind the flowers and I put a little uh, applique flower on here. I love this paper. Over here we have a uh, pocket made from a collage with a little crochet doily and a button on it and it holds I sewed around it and it holds a journaling card and a tag that I made that has a bulb pin attached to it I don't know if you can see it and then the uh, bulb pin also holds a metal rim metal rim tag that you can write on the back or you can take it off and use it for something else, or you can clip it onto like uh, the lace over here, or the ribbons over there. So, but in here it just the, the tag goes over over the pocket. This is a ledger paper from the fifties, some dark blue dyed paper that I did. Then I have super old um, transparent typewriter paper. I just thought it adds nice. Um, interest or just different something different um this i don't remember where this kit is from but it's not from line dot arrow but i had this page lying around and i was like this is perfect and i had it actually printed on the back of scrapbook paper then we have old oh yeah this is actually antique um sheet music paper from an old etude magazine from 1905 and i sewed some dark blue lace ribbon on there and then here we have a blue dyed doily. This is beautiful coffee dyed um, copy paper. Here's some old um, wallpaper and I made this little um, pocket for two little tags. These tags are also from Line.Arrow. And they just sit in here. And then there's some marble, pa marble paper. And here I used, uh, created a pocket for my book page. And I just added this um, old um, library card that I sewed on some lace ribbon. And then I did this uh, tag with old German book pages, antique book pages, little crochet doily. And then this is an antique uh, ribbon that I got from an antique shop. Here is an old, uh, I think from the 60s or the 50s, a magazine page, like it adds. And then here I clipped a little envelope on there. You can tuck in little notes. And it has another crocheted doily thing, square. And it's just on here with a paper clip. Some more ledger paper, some more blue dyed paper. And I just put a little uh, leftover... Um, trim that I had saved and I used it as a tab and then here I made a little cluster from old stamps wallpaper and all kinds of snippets coffee dyed paper graph paper from the 50s old um, blue paper I think it's from the 70s or 80s scrapbook paper and I printed some um, writing paper on the back here's another little tab that you can used to fold I uh, flip over the page and then this is old accounting paper in the middle and I added a charm which is a little clock in the middle and then <coughs> more writing writing paper lots of writing paper there's another cluster that I made from with an old stamp and scraps lovely little um, trim on the border of the page and then this one is another um, corner pocket that I made from a collage that I did. And it has a, a butterfly, it has a little glittery. And then I made this tag. This is an original, original old photo, I think from the 50s, with the old German book page, some old writing from an old document that's actually with pencil, that's original. Old ledger. And then here's another one of those tags. It has this metal rim tag that I embellished. These both go in here. And then here's 
Uh, this is actually a piece of the closure. Uh, this is just a tab that helps you flip the page over. <clears throat> and then on here, I made a cluster from an old, uh, one of those old slides from photographs, but you can't really tell, but it's, uh, it's hidden behind some lace, a button, and some old stamps from Brazil and uh, Japan. And then here I made an envelope. This is actually a one of those digital papers from Land on Arrow, and I printed it on coffee dyed paper, and I embellished it with old, an old Irish stamp label and some lace, and I sewed around the whole thing. And then in here is a cute uh, book page about the blue cornflower, and I thought it goes really well with the blue themed journal. And you can put letters or photos or secret notes in here and this whole thing just goes over the page and it has this tiny little Tim Holtz clip that you just use to clip onto the page to hold it and then we have the doily and then we have a bigger bigger one of those um, pocket folded pockets and I made this um, with a crochet doily and then it goes in the, these actually have two pockets, a little front pocket and then a big back pocket. And then I made this um, round tag, circle tag with the ball pin, and you can write on the back. And this goes in the front pocket. And this is again the old antique uh, music paper from 1905. Here I uh, did a little circle um, from wallpaper and a digital image that I cut out. As a little corner pocket or tuck and you can write here and this is actually a photo frame i did the frame is from line dot arrow and then i just glued it on an old um, coffee dyed index card and i put one of the original photos i think it was from the 50s doesn't say uh but this oh it's an aunt i i wasn't sure if it's the mom or the aunt and then you can just put the little uh, photo back in here. And I thought that was really, really cute. All right. And then more writing paper. And then I had this uh, ribbon that I sewed onto the page. And over here I made a <coughs> vellum pocket for a journaling card that is made to look like um, a Polaroid with my favorite flower, the Forget-Me-Not. And I did a vellum pocket on purpose so you can still see still see the what's in the pocket. And then there's a crochet doily thing and a little paper flower. Here's a tiny one of those pockets with two tiny tags. And a yellow birdie. More writing. And then here I made a side pocket for my collage. And then I have this tag here with this uh, antique ribbon and some old paper goes right in here and then I have a little glassine bag that has three um, old playing cards in them that you can use for embellishing or crafting or anything and it hides right behind this tag some more digital paper and then here's an old magazine page and I just used some rice paper on here because there's nice blue flowers and this is it and then on the back side uh, back cover um i made this uh big three pocket or three yeah three pocket thing and um it has tags in all three pockets that you can write on and it's all machine stitched and this is the whole journal and i should probably tuck this in here Again, it's nine by six and it has 92 pages. And by the time you will see this video or by the time this video goes up, Monday at 10.15, this will also be listed in my Etsy shop if anyone's interested. And I will put the link to the listing in the description below. And um, I had so much fun making this journal. Thank you so much guys for watching me on this little crafty journey. Um, I always love getting your feedback and your ideas and I love sharing my ideas with you guys. So I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!